Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is another MLM video. Well, anti-MLM video, let's just say that. Today we're gonna look at a team call. So I didn't find this myself. Actually, one of my subscribers sent it to me. She's gonna remain anonymous because I don't want anyone getting in trouble. I'll take all the heat for this, but it's not gonna be heat. Um, this is like on YouTube and stuff, but I think I'm still gonna blur their faces out because I just don't want these videos to be like that. I don't think that you guys would do this, but sometimes, you know, the wrong person comes across a video, they get so empowered that they wanna go try to ruin somebody's life and that's just not what we're here for. We're just talking about anti-MLMs and this video in particular just it encapsulates everything that I hate about Beachbody. You guys know Beachbody's my number one least favorite MLM and I talked about it in another video, but they just, the whole premise of Beachbody is skewed because, like I said before, you never should go up to somebody and say, hey, do you want to lose weight or do you think you need to lose weight or, you know, it's just a sensitive topic and you it's really none of your business type of thing. The Like, I like trainers at a gym because people come to you when they're ready and they go to the gym and, like, you're not seeking those people out. So the premise of Beachbody is flawed in that way where you reach out to people and say, hey, you want to lose weight and change your life, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you're not going to change your life with this type of company. If anything, it'll probably, it's more likely to ruin it and financially ruin you and emotionally probably ruin you as well. So that's why I don't like Beachbody and a lot of the girls on here, they think that they're like influencers, you know, and like, I, I'm not somebody where I'm like, oh my God, nobody can be an influencer, just me. <laughs> but I'm just saying like, these girls are, a lot of these girls are faking the following and I think one thing we can all agree on is that faking a following is so embarrassing, so tacky, you should never do it. It's just, it's so lame. Like it's just, it's so lame to fake a following. It's dishonest, it's fraudulent. Quite frankly, if you take any sponsorships uh, from companies and they're under the illusion that you have a lot, a big following and therefore a big customer base and you're gonna make, drive all these sales, it's dishonest and you know I'm working right now to try to get like to get rid of that like I think it's so lame I hate it okay anyway no integrity these people have no integrity let's just say that a lot of them and every person I look at on Beachbody I think probably 95% of them have faked a following and they have either huge followings like they're following a lot of people and then they unfollow them or they're doing this thing where they bought views this is a video where it proves that they are botting views when these coaches are telling each other to bot views she's gonna give the name of the site that she uses we're just gonna watch this together you know get upset about it together <laughs> because it's so frustrating and it's just this just wraps it all up for me like this is this video was what I was looking for because I've watched a lot of team calls just in my research um, that are already on YouTube but they're a very like Disney World like it's just like hey you know if you want to do this, you can do it, you know, type of thing. And it's not like this scummy underlayer of stuff where I'm like, I know that they're saying stuff like uh, talking about botting views, talking about difficult, you know, customers talking about each other. Anyway, so we're going to start this out. I'm not going to watch the whole thing because it is literally so long. It's almost an hour long. And yes, I watched the whole thing. But I'm just going to start it at like the parts that really irritate me and let me give you a brief introduction. So the girl that is on in the blue, who's on the left, I think she's this girl's upline. So she's above her. I think she does very well in the company. Um, that's just my understanding. It seems like she has a very nice house and she's like one of the ones that actually did make money. She's probably been doing this for five plus years. Um, she probably got in early. That's the problem with pyramid schemes. If you get in early enough, you know, maybe you can make some money. If you get in now, you're going to make zero dollars and zero cents. She invited the other girl onto the call who's probably one of her top coaches or, or she's performing pretty well. The girl in the, in the white, she's so like blunt and to me, ag she's like aggressive. Not very likable in my opinion. So let's listen to this. So also when talking about the coach opportunity as a new coach, would you recommend just talking about the opportunity to help people? No, you got to talk about the possibility. You got to talk about why you're in it. Like, of mm -hmm. course, helping people is the foundation of what we do. Like we're fitness first. Yes. 
We, I, we have coaches on this team who have lost hundreds of pounds. Husbands have like lowered high cholesterol, gotten out of heart attack range, like people who have gotten abs, like we have everything here. But you guys have to to meet them where they're at and be super relatable. Cause if they tell you like, oh, I can't do this or I can't join coaching because of the money. You have to say like, I totally get it. Like I've been there. I don't, you know, I haven't been able to pay this or that. And that's why I joined this to change my situation. Yes. So you have to relate to them and say, you didn't start here. You weren't always where you're at. You know, you have to tell them like, I, I was standing at that gas pump two years ago and I had to check my Chase account. Like I always tell my team to make sure I had enough money in my bank account to see if I could pump the freaking gas. So that's why I knew I had a freaking ch Okay, by the way, they're on like a call. This is like the team call where their, their own coaches are asking these questions. It's not customers. Um, these are their own coaches who are already signed up and they're, they're giving them advice. And the whole, this the purpose of this team call is to answer like difficult questions. So it's like, you know, a YouTuber doing like questions I never answer, you know, stuff like that. So they're, they're trying to be extra blunt, which is what, this is kind of what I was looking for because these are, they are answering in a way where I was like, I knew, I just knew this stuff was going on behind the scenes. So anyway, to talk about this point right here, this is something where that happens in a lot of MLMs. It's a huge problem. They do this thing where like she's trying to, she's intentionally trying to be relatable. Something about authenticity, which everybody strives for and if you're in sales like you want to be and just in life you want to be as authentic as possible but i think the antithesis of authenticity is when you have to be intentionally authentic or you have to be intentionally relatable to somebody else i think that just kind of it's like a wash at that point you know so the fact that she's kind of going out and saying you've got to be relatable you've got to find a way to relate to these people it seems so forced and it seems so manipulative and I dislike that so strongly about MLMs. It's so manipulative and there's just all of this like desperation and like I've got to make a connection with this person so I can get their money and they can sign up and I can continue to pay my bills. You know, it's just, ugh, it's ick. It gives me this icky feeling. So right now she's telling, she's telling her coaches, hey, you need to find a way to relate to them. If they can't pay for it, say, hey, look, I couldn't pay for this either. I was standing at a gas pump. I couldn't even pay for my gas. I'm checking my account. And now look at me. I can, you know, I can pay for all these different things with this opportunity, which is inevitably going to make, lose them money. Again, I'll say this every video, 99% of people lose money in MLMs. They lose it. It is so false that these people will have some kind of financial freedom from this. It's cruel to tell people, hey, you're gonna be able to afford this if you just pay this thing to be a coach um, and you don't have the money right now. They say put it on a credit card, uh, refinance your house, go sell your you know, your stuff, your valuables at Plato's Closet or you know, whatever, eBay, whatever. It's so wrong and I hate that about this. So that's what she's telling people right now. Change my situation because that's pathetic. Yes. Like and that's every, bad. And every part of this business is helping people. It is yes. helping people to get out of a situation like that. It is helping people to not just help and this girl, uh, the girl in the blue, she's actually a lot more politically correct, and I can see why she's probably more successful than the girl in the white. Um, you know, no offense or anything, but she's just, like, she's she seems to have a little bit more of a, you know, she's not saying things that you really shouldn't say. So anyway. Fitness, not just, oh, do you want to help people? Because honestly, we can't all be Mother Teresa's. Right. And to be really frank, Mother Teresa wouldn't <laughs> have been able to help all those people if she didn't have someone funding her, right? You can't just go everywhere without anything and help all the people. It doesn't work like that, right? You've got to work, you've got to sacrifice, all of those things. Uh, I don't, I don't understand that point. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it just went over my head, but I don't understand the Mother Teresa point. I'm the same as Annie. I have a girl who seems really interested, but I don't know if I should leave her alone. Okay. I'll keep bugging her. I just, that's so annoying. I mean, it's so annoying. If some, if you don't know, somebody's on the fence and she says, just keep bugging her. You, I just can't see how that, that's a, a good thing to do. It's just going to drive her away, in my opinion. 
keep hugging her, but if you're focusing on this one person so hard, you've got to move on. Yeah. Like, you never, ever rely on one person, never focus on one person if they're not answering you. Like, you got to file that person in your follow-up report, and no, you don't ever stop reaching out. Most people don't want to join an MLM. If somebody's not responding, they're probably just trying to be nice and... and just not directly say no. So if there's somebody where you're like, oh, I think they might want to join. I mean, it's probably more likely that they're just like, they don't want to be mean and, and just outright say no. So that's, I don't know, that's just what I think, but. Her and you bug her if you think that she'd be a really great fit, but you've got to keep adding to your funnel. Yeah, she's not your SC2 and done. SC2, I don't know what SC2 is, but I just know that SC is their success club, and it's this thing that they have to hit, I think, either every month or something like that. I have to look it up again. So glad you're sharing this. August was a rough month. Girl, it's fine. Sandra, I know you've got it in you. You are not- That's what I said. I don't care if it takes me five years. Yes, you went to college for five years and paid money to go to college for five years. Sandra, you could spend 40 years in a job to get a little pension or whatever they call it. I don't even know. I don't know about that stuff, you guys, but you'll, whatever. I don't know. Whatever, whatever you get when you retire. A pension? Like, which is probably nothing. Whatever you get when you retire, which is probably nothing. That just goes to show this girl knows nothing, nothing about finances, about the future. You should not be taking advice from this girl. What the f***? What the f***? Oh, what that, that thing, a pension? I don't know, you guys. I don't know about that. You probably don't get anything. Probably nothing. Uh, pensions are few and far between these days. Um, most companies are kind of getting rid of them and a lot of people pay into like a 401k and stuff like that but a pension is even better than a 401k because it's paying you like a very good salary when you're retired. It's so important to have one of those for security. It's something that people don't have if they're working for a company like like Beachbody. Like, you don't get benefits, you don't get any of this stuff. I would kill to have like a YouTuber pension that I was paying money into for my future. I would kill to have like, or to pay for health insurance, like a YouTuber health insurance, but I don't have that. But it's like, this girl doesn't fucking get it. She doesn't get it. How do you, how do you grow your IG following to keep up with the number of invites you send? So like, there are like, millions of ways there are things you can pay for there are things you can do for hours on end to follow people to add people like the old school way on Facebook used to be like go into groups of things you're interested in and friend request them and add them and whatnot um, nowadays you can manually go into your Instagram follow people who you can go on the explore page like at night when I'm laying in bed oh no it's about to die okay one more question and then we got to cut it off um, like when I'm laying in bed, sometimes I'm like, oh, you know, I like this person and this person, I'll follow them, I'll like a couple other things, and then slowly but surely, that takes a lot of time. You can buy a- Stimbot. Stimbot that, I don't even know what this is. You can- She's enlightening me. <laughs> you, I enlightened her this week, and you guys, my team uses it, and um, it is if you go to stimsocial.com, it's actually what we've been using. You cannot get to it on your phone. It won't let you access it, but it's called stimsocial.com, and you can go through it on a laptop, desktop, whatever, but you have to invest in it, yes, but it authentically grows your Instagram for you. Like Authentically grows your Instagram for you that you pay for. Again, this goes back to how <laughs> this counterintuitive authenticity you when you pay for something and you're paying for people who don't know you to follow you who are not even necessarily like the same interests as you and you're paying for a service that is not growing authentically I don't know how else to say it this girl is so delusional and these people truly think that this is like a good thing to do and I, I actually found who this girl was and I went to her Instagram and it is just like a cluster like it's just she gets like 20 likes per photo and she gets like i don't know it's like 10,000 followers it's like that doesn't make any sense these are not authentic followers why do people do this it gives this pseudo credibility because you have all these followers and people are like oh my god there's so many people following you you must know what you're talking about no 
no and this just goes to show these people don't know what they're talking about they do not know they did not grow authentically they took a shortcut and it's it's fraudulent I don't have to go like as my phone is sitting here it, my Instagram following is growing because it's following people for me and then I set a cap at like follow 3,000 and then once you've done that unfollow everyone that didn't follow me back authentically growing unfollow everyone who didn't follow me back authentically growing what the fuck? oh I'm sitting here you guys she's like bragging I'm sitting here and my Instagram followings growing and it, I pay for it. I pay $39 a month. It makes $40 a month for this. That's probably, they probably don't even make that much with this Beachbody thing. And here's the other thing. They have to pay $100 a month for just for their Shakeology. So that's $140 a month just to do this. It seem like a lot to you guys, but I put what I make in the business back into my business. And you've got to do that if you want to make this something big. Yes. So if you guys have a question on that, you can... I like how there was only one suggestion that was actually somewhat authentic where you go on the explore page and you look at people that might have the same interests as you. That was the only that was the only thing that they said. Everything else was buy your followers, unfollow follow. That's it. That's how you do it, guys. You made it. You did it. You're a beach body coach. Congrats. I think that's enough for this call. I mean, there's a whole lot of other stupid stuff about they literally said in this team call, I, I'm just going to spare you, but they said over and over and over, you guys, you just got to give it your all. You just got to give it your all. You just got to give it your all. If you want this, then you got to want it. It's like, what does that even mean? I don't even understand. But anyway, this call, I hope sums it up for you. I mean, this is just proof of everything I've been talking about. And I knew that what I was saying obviously was true, but it's good to always have like, you know, a, a little bit of a backup hello. But, um, so thank you to who sent me this. You know, sometimes you think these people on the outside, they have this shiny 10,000 followers and they're only following, you know, X amount of people and they're working out every day. They look like they're living their best life. It's like, you know, it's not real. It's not real. A lot of these MLM companies like that, it's just like they've built this up to look a certain way. They want it to look all shiny, brand new, desirable you know, inviting, it's all about materialism and greed and hey, can I get, I want this luxury car, I have it, you know, I got this Cadillac, I got this Mercedes, I got this whatever, um, because of this opportunity. And a lot of time it's like, they're look, they're buying followers, they're struggling to pay their bills, they're, they're trying to get other people to in on this whole mess that they're in. And it's it's just it's very scary so anyway i i really it was ha i'm happy to be able to show you that video hopefully you guys learned something from this i'm gonna look for more stuff like that from different companies okay of course i'm not gonna just stay on beachbody although i would love to um i we have to move on to like other mlms and talk about those because there's so so many out there but hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for more anti mlm videos i'm really excited to be making them and having fun doing them and make sure you subscribe down below hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when i post these videos i do have a playlist now of all my anti anti mlm videos and leave a like of course obviously anyway i will see you guys in my next video bye